This video is going to be a quick tour of Google Drive. Drive is your one-stop shop access point for all things Google. It's where you can get to docs and slides and sheets and forms and create folders and organize your files and share things with other people. Um, it's a great resource place. Now each of those apps has its own little um, kind of home page, but I like to do everything from Drive because it's the easiest way to keep everything organized and get to everything from one place. So first thing we need to know is how to get to Google Drive. Um, um, now I can always type in drive.google.com and that's going to ask me for my login information if I'm not already signed in to Google. Another good tip to show you is that all over the place when you are signed into Google you're going to see this waffle, uh, this little apps manager icon and when you click that um, Google Drive is always one of your options. If you open up a new tab in Chrome you will get that as well right over here. So lots of different options um, and ways to get to Google Drive. But I need to sign in with my Google account. So my school email address is already showing here. You might have to type that in. And I'll put in my password. And it's going to get me right in to my drive. Now I have mine in list view. By default it shows it in tiled view like this. Um, it's just a matter of personal preference, which you prefer. I just am finding it easier to find what I need when I have it in this list view instead. So just personal preference, like I said. Okay, so right over here um, is your big red new button, and this is kind of your uh, most important aspect of your Google Drive, because this is where we want to go when we want to create something new makes sense, right? So we can create a new folder if we want to start organizing things. We can upload files and folders, so if you're um, kind of moving everything to the cloud so that you don't have to keep track of a thumb drive um, or so that something's not on a machine that could crash or something could happen to it, this is a, where you would go to do that. You can upload files um, and we can upload folders. We can also create new docs, sheets, slides, and wait, there's more forms, drawings, maps, and then I've added a few um, other apps to this as well and you can click this little connect more apps if you want to add things like GeoGebra and Lucidchart and other um, Google apps that people have developed that you can use from within your drive. So those main ones right here are what you would normally need to go to. So if I want to create a new doc I just click that new button and then Google Doc, it's going to open it in a new tab, so your drive is still open right here. And here's the new document that's opening up, and we can start using that as well. There'll be other tutorials on each of those individual applications. One important thing for you to note is that you have a shared with me section. If somebody shares a Google document of any sort, slides, sheets, forms, etc. with you, they make you a collaborator on it, you will find that in the shared with me section here. Okay, so we have these folders. It's really easy to organize things and move things around. So if I want to change this, um, the location of this particular file, I can just drag it to whatever folder I want to drop it into. Pretty simple. Another option that I have is that I can right click on it and click this move to button and choose the folder that I want it to go to. Now when I right click I have lots of other options and in fact most of those same options show up when I click on something they show up up here as well. It gives me a place to share it, to get the link um, to it so that I can share it with somebody if I have it um, set so that anyone with the link can view. Um, I can preview the document, I can trash it right there, and then I have more options here. You get those same choices when you right click, so just two ways to get to the same thing. In terms of organizing your drive, um, another option you have is to sort it in different ways. I like to keep mine sorted by last modified so that everything that I've used recently shows up at the top, but if that drives you crazy, you can certainly sort it alphabetically by the name of the folder or file as well. Okay, that is it for the very, very quick tour. If you want to know some of the more detailed um, items and settings and things you can do with Google Drive, um, please tune in to one of the other videos available.